Hello, everybody. Today is Tuesday, February 21st. It's 4.23 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The regular session for the markets has just closed about 23 minutes ago. And you can see the last trade on my time and sales on the E-mini S&P was 23.59.75. Pretty good day today. Before I begin, first, the required disclaimer. Okay, first up is the NASDAQ, and we had uh, a loser to start, and this was a drawdown of about $200 or so, and then this was followed by three really solid winners, uh, a long, a short, and another long, and this basically took up the day, so these are pretty substantial swings, a whole day's worth of swings, and I had a... a conversation with a really nice gentleman today who was interested in the auto trader and we were talking about that uh, how hard this would be uh, to do manually and that you know after these first two trades a loser and a winner that you would have spent your uh, emotional currency so to speak that that emotionally we we couldn't uh, be in the market like this you know back to back it would be very very hard to do manually Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a 2,500 tick chart, and we went long uh, right at the open here and uh, had a really nice run here. We went long at 23.55 and then out at 23.63, so that's about eight points, but by the time we got here, we were trailing our stop pretty tightly. You can see in our parameters here that after 35 ticks, which eight points is 34 ticks, we uh, are trailing by two bars, and that's exactly what happened here. We got taken out by our uh, trailing stop by bars right here. So we, we really tightened the stop up after eight points or so. On the second trade, uh, we didn't go far enough to tighten our stop, unfortunately. So uh, just a few ticks on the second trade, but still doing 875 in the E-mini S&P uh, on two trades and two contracts is, is pretty solid. That's about 15 points or more in the E-mini S&P. Okay, next up is the Dow E-mini contract, and we drew down couple of losers, only about $150 or so. You can see two small losers here. And then we came back with a couple of solid long trades. Uh, there was a small loser in between. And so again, talking about spending your emotional currency, it would be really difficult to uh, take this many trades back to back. So this looks like it also caught a good part of those swings, although this is earlier in the morning, uh, doing 1,025 for the day on three contracts in the Dow. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 8 tick chart, and we had two winners and no losers, and this did 700 for the session. That is 14 points, all told. 14 points is 64 ticks, so a pretty solid performance here with no drawdown. Okay, next up is a chart we've seen quite a lot, which is our Superenco 6 tick using our line break algorithm, and this had three trades, two winners and one loser, and you can see them here. So we ran up to about 300 in profit, and then gave it all back plus about a hundred and then we recovered with this short trade into the close to end up 560 for the day so pretty respectable performance okay next up is the Dow e-mini on a Superenco 10 tick chart using our line break logic and this had three trades two winners and one loser here and so we ran up to an equity high of about $400 and gave back 
little less than half of it to close at 260, a uh, modest performance there. That's all for today's video. If you'd like to find out more, please visit us at bluewavetrading.com or feel free to send us an email to systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thank you for watching today.